Hey guys, it's Shikemi Olamisi, the farm lady, and you are welcome back to another amazing, interesting, and educative video. So, as you can see from the title of this video, we are going to be talking about something very important in aquaculture, right? Water quality. So, whether you're into catfish farming, tilapia farming, carp, shrimp, and any other kind of farming that requires water being the habitat of your aquatic animals, then this video is for you. And make sure you watch till the very end end what is water quality water quality simply describes the condition of your water right which implies the physical condition or parameters biological and then the chemical parameters of your water the state of your what water so that is what water quality is talking about so using fish farming as a case study it's very important right to ensure you have good water quality because poor water quality can affect the growth of your fishes and the overall health of your fishes and it's always important for fish farmers to take note of their water the condition of their water the chemical parameters the physical parameters the biological parameters if you want to have that bumper harvest at the end of your production cycle for example here in nigeria we have so many people into catfish farmers so it's always good for them to ensure they have what everything in check right check your water and ensure that there is nothing wrong with your water because when the water is right every other thing follows right yeah so when your water is right so let's 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 see it from this angle if you have good fishes you have good management practices right that is feed your fishes as a when you change the water and do all that stuff good feed quality what you your water is not right then it's just more like effort in vain because you are doing all that you can do management wise but the water quality is actually affecting your overall results so that is why this is very key in fact it's the first step to having a successful breeding procedure or having a successful production circle so i'm going to be diving in more into these parameters the physical the chemical and then the biological parameters so let's talk about the physical parameters i believe we're all taught this good water is colorless is odorless and tasteless that was in elementary school while growing up yes so good water has to be colorless odorless and tasteless so if your water is having pigment color then you should know something is wrong you should be able to what tell that this water is good or not by seeing or looking at it this, these are the physical parameters so the color of the water it has to be colorless odor must not have any you know smell that is offensive right or chemical smell or anything like that you know that it is definitely going to be harmful to your fishes and then tasteless if you can't drink the water on your farm I always say this i drink the water in my hatchery so if you can't drink the water on your farm then something is wrong so it has to be what tastes less another thing is also what the temperature of course we can feel right with our hand with our skin so you can actually what feel the temperature if the water is too hot you can tell that oh my fishes can't survive in this kind of water why because hot water or water with very high temperature does not have what the ability to hold enough dissolved oxygen for our fishes to survive so temperature is one of it another one is what turbidity turbidity simply means how clear your water is can you see through or is it cloudy right when your water is cloudy then it is not what ideal 
for fish farming remember we are using fish farming as a case study today so the turbidity of your water is also one of the physical parameters to check out for when you want to start your fish farm right because all these things are things you should what put into consideration before starting out at all so i've mentioned the color the taste the odor turbidity and temperature next up we are going to be talking about the chemical parameters of water of a water that is of good quality so for the chemical parameters we have the ph i know most of us are very conversant with that you have to ensure your water is what in between when I say in between, I mean if you can get as much as neutral, which is seven, then you're good to go. But for fish farmers, which is our case study for today, somewhere around 6.5 to 8.5 is perfect, all right? So the pH is one of the water quality to try out, to check out for rather than the electrical conductivity we have the total dissolved solid which is the tds we have the nitrate we have the nitrite we have the dissolved oxygens we have the iron and so many others we have chlorine so all these are meant to be what to be checked there is a standard for fish farming and not just fish farming there's a standard for oh if you're a catfish farmer this is the standard this is what you should work with right your water has to have this level of um nitrate this level of tds this level of ph and all that so there is a standard for it okay so you have to ensure that everything is in check and then lastly for the biological parameters of water we have the microbial content pathogen you know bacterial and all that that can be in your water so knowing your physical parameters chemical parameters and biological parameters is key when it comes to aquaculture all right so whether you're into production which is breeding hatching your fishes from egg stage right to grow out it is always important to know all these factors because they determine whether you're going to be successful or not but note this it is not just the water quality that will determine if you'll be successful but it is a place to start with knowing all these parameters you know the physical parameters chemical and biological is very important when it comes to aquaculture because this water is their habitat they basically eat defecate you know get dissolved oxygen this is where everything about them happens so we have to ensure we make it as conducive as possible for them so this brings me to an important information that i know you are going to need we are going to be holding a training on water treatment plant how to install how to set it up how to run it and make it useful for you all right so the training is going to be coming up on the 30th of april 2022 the online training will be on zoom same day right it's going to be happening simultaneously with the physical training so the training will be holding in lagos at ayobo boscat fish farms and academy where we are going to be meeting with the expert that is going to be teaching us how to actually what set up install operate and maintain a water treatment plant for our fish farm so come through if you're registering through the farm lady of course you're going to be getting 20 percent of the training fee the normal price is fifty thousand naira but registering through the farm lady you're going to be getting 20 percent off which means you're going to be paying forty thousand naira. so come come and learn there is no end to learning nobody knows it all so come and add to that knowledge and this can be an opportunity for you to what start making a living right depends on you on what you want so come through the training will be packed with a lot of information for you and i know you don't want to miss out on that we have about a week and few days to go for the training so 
make sure you come through click the link in the description box to register now and take advantage of that 20 percent off so i'll see you guys in my next video if you enjoyed this video make sure you give it a like share to somebody who you know would need this and also drop a comment you're seeing my face for the first time hello i'm shikem your lab said the farm lady and you're welcome to the family make sure you smash on that subscribe button so till then i'll see you next week bye for now